a lot of you guys and gals who've been coming here for a while, you may hear me say the same thing a couple times. Part of that is because my short-term memory is shot, but part of that is because there are certain notions and certain ideas, certain word pictures that I really want to hammer on to vividly portray what we're here in Slavic Village to do. One thing that I, I purposely keep on is the fact that we're here to start a family, not to start a church. When I was growing up in this neighborhood, I had church in my life, and so did the people who I was growing up around. But it didn't impact them in any major way at all, or change them fundamentally as people. And I saw in our community that church after church after church after church on every street corner, uh, and yet there was no goodness pervading our streets. There's no, there was no sense of morality or love for each other going on. In fact, I wondered, how could a God who is so good and so powerful and so mighty be so present in our neighborhood on every street corner and it have absolutely no effect on the people who live there or the place in which we lived as a whole? And so eventually, I came to the conclusion that the whole God thing, the whole church thing was a crop. And that it was just a crutch, religion was just a crutch that some people would lean on if they needed something in their life. And I decided to just go the way that everybody else goes. And live my life in a way that was opposed to the way that the Bible told us to live, the instruction manual that he gave us. About 15 years passed in my life, right? And I received everything that the world had to offer. I got rich. I got houses. I got pleasures. I got cars. I got stuff. I got petty relationships. And then I got empty, and I got broken, and I got to taste the fruit of a life lived outside of the instruction manual that he gave us to live life by. And then one day, I got smart, and I got on my knees, and I said, God, if you really exist beneath all this phoniness that I see in the church around me, beneath all the religiosity, beneath all the flaky, judgmental people, if you're somewhere in there, Show yourself to me, and I will walk with you the rest of my life and chase it wherever it takes me. God answered me that very day, literally washing into every area of my life, my heart, my mind, the circumstances around me to revolutionize everything about life itself for me. It didn't have to be uh, the way that it always was in my life. Things could change, and he did it in a moment. But it did not happen through a church. And so as I continued to pursue his truth in the Bible, and continue to pray, and uh, continue to just simply submit to his agenda rather than my agenda, I was shocked when that path that he was leading me down led me right back into the community that I had spent my whole life polluting with drugs. To do, of all things, to play the church. I was shocked and, and utterly uh, wanted to refuse it and say no. But as I stand here today, I don't stand here as a pastor. I stand here as a follower. I stand here as your brother. Waking up every day and asking our Father, all right, now, what now? What do you want us to do now? And the vision that he's painted on my heart is that this is not about this church. It's not about doing good things or giving stuff away or making a way or being seen by people. It's about people, period. The people that stand in front of me right now. This is what it's about. This family that God has planted in this community and, and made a part of Forward Church. People who God loves right where they are at in life, no matter where that is, but loves them enough to go out of his way to show them the true face of a better way of life, a brighter way, a deeper truth, and a flat out better life. <clears throat> so since it's all about people, and it's all about the God who loves the people that he created, our calling is not to get some fancy building, uh, to hear a positive message once a week, and then go home to just live life as usual. Our mission is to radically impact every single part of life, every life that walks into this door, if they will allow us in and allow God to do exactly what I personally witnessed him do in my own life. 